Welcome to Brian's Kitchen, you two. Um, one of the things about being a stay-at-home dad is that before I was a dad, I could not cook at all, and many of you after seeing this video will probably still say I can't cook. But um, tonight we thought we'd share with you one of the things that I've learned to make because I had to feed more people than just myself. Yeah, this is actually your best, my favorite dish that Brian makes. Yep, and we both have something that we make really awesome and some things that are just okay. Yeah, but a lot today, of okays. Today we're going to be doing um, my chicken curry. I found a really easy recipe off the internet a few years ago and I've sort of changed and tweaked it along the way. And so far nobody's died, which counts as success. <laughs> Step number one in cooking is the first ingredient, beer. <laughs> and remember when cooking with beer is that occasionally it goes in the food. The rest of it goes in me. Okay, so, Mr. Chef, what is what is in your recipe? What are we putting into this dish tonight? Okay. What do we need to make Brian's favorite famous curry dish? Well, the first thing we did was start the rice, and we are lucky enough to actually have a rice cooker. So mm -hmm. that thing is burning away while everything else is getting cooked. Okay. So coming back to our ingredients, I have two boneless, skinless chicken breasts that we have cut into about one inch chunks. Um, one 20 ounce can of chunk pineapple, which this actually replaces spinach, which you can also use. Uh, the recipe calls for about two cups of diced tomatoes, diced canned tomatoes, which I just used the whole can. It doesn't affect the recipe in, at all. Uh, we have one onion, which we have sliced. You just cut it down the middle after you've taken the paper off and then cut it into little slices so that it cooks down easier. We have about one quarter to one half of a teaspoon of salt. And this is my addition to this recipe, one can of garbanzo beans. Yummy. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Swig of beer. That's not in the recipe. Now, this recipe calls for two teaspoons of curry powder. I do two tablespoons and sometimes a little bit more because I like it to have some kick and I really like that curry flavor. Mm -hmm. It won't kill you and so far my kids who can be really finicky eaters love it. Okay, and a really important ingredient and one we didn't have and Jay had to run to the store for at the last minute, coconut milk. Most, if not all, of these ingredients are available at your average chain grocery store. We go to Safeway for some of this stuff. Coconut milk, curry powder, all should be really easy to get. Um, that's it. I think we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, step one is we want to have a pan ready to go and a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom. You could probably use a lot of different types of oils. Some of them burn really bad under high heat, so I would probably stick with vegetable oil. Plus, it won't change the flavor of the dish too much. So we've got this already going on medium heat. We're going to add in our onions. And our salt. And how long do you cook this for? This has to cook down for about seven minutes on medium heat or until softened. And you'll know the onions are softened because they go from that uh, milky white look to being a, almost clear. And what kind of oil do you use? Vegetable oil. And can I you use pretty much any type of oil? I think I just covered that, didn't I? Oh, you did? Okay. Yes, I did. This goes to show how much my husband listens to me, too. Okay, so we're going to keep stirring this because you don't want it stuck to the bottom of the pan and the onions will reduce in mass a little bit. If they start to look caramelized, you're going too far. <laughs> Your heat's probably too hot. And, most important step. <clears throat> so let's start our timer. Now, we've got seven minutes for this to cook. And something you can do in that seven minutes while you're waiting for me to cook this down and another fun fact about our family is that we were in Google's last It Gets Better Project video, which once we found out the first showing was going to be on Glee, Jay squealed like a little girl. 
Okay, well I guess we'll be back because I'm not filming you for seven minutes. <laughs> see you later. So, we're all done here, and as you can see, our onions have gone to be kind of glass-like in appearance. We also <clears throat> have a minute 32 left on our timer, so don't trust the timer. Trust how this looks when you're cooking. So our next step in is to add in our curry powder, and that just goes right in <coughs> on top of our onions. And we're gonna stir that around in the pan for one minute. Now, do you know anything about the history of curry powder? Is it originally from India, or what's the deal with curry powder? Cur I believe it comes from a lot of different places in yeah. Asia. One of the major places is India. Um, I do not know where this particular curry powder came from. Now we use a really mild curry. Is there different types? Yes, there are red curries, there are green curries. Some of them can be pretty spicy. And what kind of curry is this? Uh, well, I think this is technically a yellow curry, even okay. though it looks kind of brownish. Okay. Um, but for those of you who are from India or who actually know something about curry, please try not to be horrified <laughs> by what you see. So we're almost done here. Okay, so our next step is our coconut milk, and this is going to be the base for the sauce. It's pretty thick stuff, which is okay because a lot of our other ingredients are going to loosen it up a little bit. So let's stir that in so that the onions kind of stop, don't overcook. And you see that the curry turns everything a really nice yellow color. Kind of looks like our living room. It will also make your house smell like curry for a week, which... Which is good. Which I like. Yeah, I like it too. Okay. So... Okay, so now that our coconut milk is in there, we're going to stir in our diced tomatoes. And that goes in the whole can and stir that in. And that's already started to change the color. So it's kind of like cooking painting. Kind of. Yeah. And our tomato paste. Oh, come on, tomato paste. Hi, YouTube! <laughs> You're very handy. Okay. All right. Um, were, your were your hands clean? My hands are immaculately clean. Okay. My hands are OCD clean. Okay, so stir all that together. Yep, and we're going to stir it together, and then we're going to let it cook for about five to six minutes until it's thickened. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we're ready for our next step, which, as always... Oh. <laughs> this is boiling pretty good. Yep, and we should be cooked down just fine. So what okay. is this? The chicken? Next, our chicken goes in, and this is going to be very careful adding it in. Be slow, because this stuff's hot. Okay, so if you don't eat chicken, you think there's anything else you can add to the recipe to make it vegetarian? Uh, yes, actually, and I was going to get to that in the next step, which okay. is curry is a very versatile flavor and works with a lot of different things. If you wanted to replace any of the major ingredients, you could use mushrooms would be a great thing. You potatoes. could use potatoes is great. Uh, peas, mm -hmm. uh, chunks of soy if you wanted. There are all kinds of things. Um, this I see this dish sometimes served with lamb, which well, I don't. Yeah, we don't we don't do any red meat, huh? No, not, well, not whatsoever. Okay, and how long does this chicken stir for? Okay, it is supposed to sit here for about five to six minutes, being stirred occasionally until it's cooked through. Okay. So we will be right back. On so before with we go away, I have a question for you. Yeah. Where are we going at the end of the month? To the moon, Alice? No, we're going to San Diego. What are we doing there? A family vacation. When did this happen? Uh, you know it happened. Who are you? <laughs> So YouTube, we're going to be going to San Diego, where I'm going to make Brian get a nice little tan. And Jay's going to flirt with the serviceman. No, I'm not. And once he gets his nice little tan, I'm trying to get him into the mood for our big gay vacation coming up for Guerneville, California. That's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to meeting a lot of really cool YouTubers. Mm -hmm. um, if you are in the San Diego area, I know Brian doesn't want to make a big production about it, but you know, send us a tell, an uh, email, and maybe we can hook up and do something while we're down there. We'll be there for Memorial Day weekend, and we're looking forward to meeting you some YouTubers. All right, so we'll see you in the next step for cooking for the culinary challenge. Okay, so our chicken has cooked through and we're ready for the last step, which is almost the last step, and that's to add our final ingredients, the ones that cook down really fast and you want to save for the end. Now the recipe calls for spinach, which you put it in at the end because spinach will wilt pretty quickly. Um, we're using pineapple. Why do we use pineapple? 
because it made the dish more accessible to the kids, mm -hmm. really. The kids really like the pineapple. Yeah. So that goes in and gets stirred in. And the next addition is kind of a recent addition we did. Mm -hmm. And why did we come up with this? Well, it's because this ha is a staple ingredient in a lot of Indian dishes. It's got good protein. Yep, and it gives it a good, it sort of evens out all the flavors. And what is it, garbanzos? One can of garbanzo beans? Garbanzo beans. Adds a little bit more, uh, I don't know, substance to it. Right. Yeah, I like it too. Okay, so this all has to cook down for another two to three minutes. Now, an interesting thing about this dish is it's better on the second day. It makes super awesome leftovers because the longer it sits, the better the flavors blend together. Um, which I recommend, if you can, to make it the night before you want to eat it because it's actually better on day two. Yeah, I agree. Yeah? <laughs> okay. always I always get it for lunch the next day, which is nice. So we'll see you in two to three minutes. Okay. Don't you need to put a lid on there? No, no, no lids. No, no lids. No lids necessary until you're done if your rice isn't finished. Okay. Okay, so now we're ready for plating, which we're going to take some of our rice as the bed for our dish. You know, for those of us who can't cook or who are never taught to cook, this is a really easy, simple dish to impress your friends. Everything cooks together in one pot and is done usually in about a half an hour. So here we are, we've got our rice ready to go. Rice should always be nice and sticky. And if anybody out there has any recommendations for recipes to try, I love to cook Indian food and I'd love to cook more dishes. So I actually bugged you about making this video tonight. Is it something yeah. that, you know, we think maybe other YouTubers can talk you into making more episodes? I don't know. That's up to YouTube. So YouTube, if you'd love to see more cooking episodes, let us know. Otherwise, this will probably be the first and last. Daniel, what are you up to? I'm um, picking up. Now, we told people you loved this Indian dish. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's Nan one of the bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is it? Nan bread. And we bought that. We cheated and bought it. We cheated and bought it because I don't know how to make Nan bread. Okay. But fresh Nan bread is awesome. Well, we're getting ready to have some really yummy curry. Can you guys, uh, what are you doing now? Are you putting on your uh, topping? Yep. And what are you putting on top of it? We're using basil leaves, but if you're lucky enough to have a store that sells fresh curry leaves, that's mm -hmm. even better. Ooh, curry leaves. So, here we are. Here's Brian's curry. Very nice, handsome. Looks, mm. looks if really good. If I knew how to good. say enjoy in Indian, I would. Actually, it wouldn't be in Indian. It would be in Hindi, so my apologies. Um, enjoy, YouTube. Good night. Through the current as the waves.